Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I wanted to make this video because uh, I want to get back to the main reason I created all of this. Uh, the main reason being that uh, in case of a very serious weather emergency where the power goes out, uh, you know, there's threats of tornadoes and serious, uh, serious storms, uh, I want to be able to use our basement um, and, and be as safe as possible. With that, I, you know, I wanted to make sure that we had um, off-grid lights um, and off-grid outlets so that way uh, we can stay somewhat comfortable during the worst of storms. Um, I don't want to have a scenario where all the power goes out in the middle of the night and we are stumbling around in the dark to try to get into the basement. Uh, let me give you an example of that. Join me, Paul Lawrence, in voting for Judge Amy McFarland. Now, with having this off-grid setup, I have the ability of, like I said, having uh, lights wherever I want them. So, this is now the scenario that I've created in case all the power goes out. Enjoy. Join me, Paul Lawrence, in voting for Judge Amy McFarland. <laughs> The rest of this video is uh, the list of materials that it took to create these lights and uh, the process that I had to go through in order to set them all up. Here is what I need to complete this project. Two 16 foot strands of LED lights, a pack of uh, wire to strip connectors, a pack of gapless strip to strip connectors, and a motion sensor. I'll have a link to all these in the description. Okay, the first thing that you would want to do if you're gonna hardwire this to your off-grid system is either make sure you have an open slot in your DC block, which as you can see, I have, I have plenty, uh, or you have a wire with the capacity to be able to hold the additional lights. And that I have also. This wire right here is uh, all it powers is a couple of USB ports, uh, which if I max that out would be about four amps. So I'm gonna go ahead and just splice into this wire. This wire runs right to the bottom of my stairs, which is right here. And these are the backs of those USB ports here and here. So the wire is right here. So what I'm going to do is cut it and splice into it and feed the lights from here. So the first thing I need to do is disconnect the fuse from that wire. All right. Now I can safely cut that wire and uh, get the whole process started. 
All right, what I'm gonna be using to uh, splice into this wire right here is my, uh, I'm gonna be using my strippers right here. I'm gonna be using a razor blade to uh, separate the wire. And then I'm going to be using uh, little ferrules to connect to the wires so they're nice. They're gonna be nice and crimped on with my crimper. Here's my ferrule crimper right here. And I'm doing that because I'm gonna be using these uh, these ideal insure uh, push in wire connectors so that way everything's all nice and clean. So let's go ahead and get started. I absolutely love this ferrule tool. All you got to do is get your little ferrule and put it in there and then it it's an automatic ratchet, so it holds it in place without actually squeezing it. And then you just feed your wire right into the ferrule. Hopefully you can see that. Just like that. Crimp it, and you're done. Nice tight fit every single time. A nice tight fit. It's perfect. All right, we have our splices ready. All we need is our third wire that's gonna go right into this third little port here. And it's gonna run this way towards the stairs. And it's gonna to connect to our LED string lights. All right, I'm gonna have the wire go right through here. Oh God, but there's like, there's dog hair everywhere. All right, that's better. Okay, so I'm gonna feed the wire through there. It's gonna go up. I'm gonna have the uh, sensor mounted like right around here somewhere. This is the this is the motion sensor. I'm gonna want to mount it right here, I think. So that way the wire is gonna come up. And I just have it go across. Plug into here, plug into here, and then it's going to come down and start right here. It's going to go all the way up, across, all the way back down. So that's the plan. All right, let me go ahead and open up my user manual. But it does show the uh, where the negatives and positives go. It looks like the uh, the negatives go on the outsides and the positives go on the insides. So that's easy to remember. But just in case, we'll go ahead and keep this handy. All right, and what's nice about this is we're gonna be able to use these little 18 gauge ferrules and they are gonna be able to fit. Once you, once you, uh, once you unscrew them, they fit right in there perfectly. So we're going to be able to use these ferrules to connect to this. That'll make it a nice clean fit as well. Next I have this little short wire, which is going to run, it's going to plug in right here, and it's going to run just like this, right to the start of our line, and then our line is going to start going up like that. <laughs> Alright, well, it's the next day. Uh, I was in the middle of getting this all done. And uh, I don't know how long it was, but I realized that the uh, battery on my camera had died. So I uh, probably missed a lot, but what I've done is I've got this all wired up to the, uh, to the sensor and I've got the string actually connected onto the little wire to rope extension. So now I'm going to start peeling it 
and sticking it along the wall. All right, there you have it. That was not very much fun, but it's done and uh, I think it looks good. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, if you have any questions about how I set these lights up or the troubles that I went through, please uh, leave them in the comments. And uh, please subscribe. It really helps out. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.